we got a little river here so let's add a cave so we are just going to add a cave that is normally in the game i'm going to go to the prefab list oh i already had it open i'm going to go to auto spawn monument and then cave and these are all the caves that are in there so let's do a small and easy one just to start with you can see that if i drag it in while holding left click um i can then move it up oh didn't mean to do that move it up and you can kind of see the inner workings of the cave you don't have to worry about it going into the water there is a system built in that it automatically removes water so you can just lower it to wherever you want and then rotate it so the entrance makes sense so for example over here then this is the settings for whatever prefab you have selected so a little bit like this then do apply height and it might look a little bit weird with some of these rocks but we'll fix that in a second then apply the alpha to remove the hole at the splat so that adds the textures on top and let's apply the topology then we can go into the terrain tool smoothen this out a little bit because it created a few weird edges i think that's all and these are floating so holding control i just select them both move them down these are also a little bit high up so i'll just move these down as well same for these and this is what i meant in the other video these are kind of weirdly aligned so if i just change this to global this makes a lot more sense and i can just lower it in the axes that i want and i think that's all and that's how you add a cave so now in game people are go able to go in here it works exactly as expected the nodes will spawn in there the crates will spawn in there and if i turn off the water you can also see that this has a building area um all as expected because it's from the auto spawn menu so this is true for any of the caves uh also the large ones uh just line up the entrance to something that makes sense apply the height and the splat and the alpha and then see if it makes any weird weird errors and just correct them and if you want to you could also let's turn on the water you can drag this to anywhere basically and just click apply height and it will work but it might look a little bit weird so you don't have to align it up to a wall like i did um you can just do this and then apply the splat apply the alpha and the topology smoothen this out and you're finished And that's how you add a cave. So that basically concludes the cave tutorial. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the modding section, um, which has a few special things you can add to your map, making sure or enforcing certain rules in certain areas. So hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this beginners to advanced rust edit course there will be a link in the description to the playlist that has all the videos that are currently in the playlist available and if i helped you out in any way please consider liking and subscribing i'm out peace